another chance for you to repent. Gideon, delay is dangerous. Demonstration now to obey is better than sacrifice. What are you still waiting for?
We are here under your mandate. We are here under your guidance. We are here under your power. Therefore, because we are here for you, we pray right now that you take preeminence. Smash! 
In this alone, how many churches do we have actually keep? How many churches do we have here? We have five Anglican church within this area we call Alo Achidikiri. Now, if you go this way, we have a church close here called uh, Christ Resurrection Anglican Church, Ikenoga. The closest one here is the Achidikiri headquarters called St. Paul say, Alo. If you go this way, you will get Christ Church and other churches around. Now, this is you what will be the number. So God bless us. God bless you for having us to a church. So any person can enter any Anglican church here and worship. And then if you want to go to the new one, you are free to come. On this note, brethren, by the mandate we have and by divine permission, as the bishop, by God's grace, on the last of inquiry, I want to declare this crusade open. Yes. In the name of God the Father, Amen. from the Son, Amen. from the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Put your heart together to our Lord Bishop. Appreciate him. He could find out I am for him. What say about the Lord of the declaration? He has not made. And in prophetic declaration, God put in place because he exalted in Jesus' name. Uh, our members, you know, we are soldiers of Christ. And I
And the story goes, he could not even lift his eyes up. And he was beating his chest. Father, I know I'm a sinner. But give me my sin. Mark is not. Forgive me my sin. And Jesus said, the one who humble himself and pray for the forgiveness of his sin is the most righteous person there. Than the one who claimed to be very righteous, his prayer was not answered. Amen. Amen. I said, there are many churches everywhere as we are going around. But then, they see something left there. Therefore, we are called my sin. These are the people we have come to discuss with, not those who say they are already righteous. The good news, therefore, we brought to you people of our Lord, is that your past and your present predicament does not determine your destiny or your future. What I mean by that is that you might have lived a very rough life in the past. Due to ignorance, deliberate action, all decisions that you were forced into. There were so many. You were forced into the decision they, they took. Many were lured into the bad things they were doing, they had seen doing, just because of ignorance. But we have come to you with this message. You might have been even written up by your family, written up by your friends, written up by the community that you live as a result of the bad things that you have done in the past, that you are still doing. Everybody look at you, they keep playing from you because of those bad things. We are here to announce to you that God The announcement is that God has not written you off. Your present and your past predicament, all the condition, bad things that you have done, can only determine your future, your destiny, if you refuse to take action. You have been doing something bad and they told you that you should change from that thing. And if you refuse to change, but as we have come with this message, all the bad things that you have been doing before, that made people to hate you, made people to write you off, that you are one of the worst sinners, the message tonight is that if you take a step forward today, salvation will be yours. Praise the Lord. Many people live life of sin in the past. Many people, men and women, they live a very rough life of sin in the past due to disease and ignorance. But today, those people, because they took a step forward in faith and God gave them free salvation, today they are living a very decent life because of the salvation of God. Why we tag the team of our crusade? When we met our Lord Bishop, he said we should take salvation has come to you today. We tag this crusade, the topic salvation has come to you today, people of our Lord. This statement was made by our Lord Jesus Christ to a certain rich man named Zacchaeus in the Bible. The man was regarded as one of the worst sinners in his time by the community where he lives because he was defrauding people and making them to carry a heavy load 
financial load. This man knew that he was hated by all the people, men and women, because of that rough life that he was living. His source of riches was regarded as very dubious. And as a result, was labeled a sinner. That's the Not just ordinary tax collector, he was the chief tax collector. In our time now we can see the administrator or whatever name we will give to them. Position, he was the one in charge. Because of this, people hate him and they were not doing things with him. This man knew this. Zacchaeus realized that what he was doing was wrong. He had the heart. Jesus Christ had given salvation to many people who were even worse than him. And it, one day he took this decision. I cannot remain in this position. That both children, men and women, they look at me now, they will speak away that I am one of the worst sinners. I must come out of this predicament. So Zacchaeus took a decision. Say today, I want to go and meet with Jesus Christ. But because of his size, we are told that he was a very small man. And the crowd was so much. There was no way he can meet with Jesus Christ. And Zacchaeus took another decision. Today, salvation, meeting with Jesus Christ, will not pass me back. So he decided to run ahead and the road he went to pass to Jericho. Imagine a very rich man. In our town, I supposed to be a multi-millionaire. To run and climb the top of a tree. Then you can see the humility has demonstrated. He has repented of what he was doing. And we must meet with my Jesus today. And I think his aim of running ahead to climb that tree was to remain there. So when Jesus Christ will be passing, he will shout from the top of the tree, Jesus, 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 save me. But because Jesus is God, Jesus is God. He knew that somebody is already ahead looking for salvation that had repented of his sin. So when they were passing, when they got to that place, nobody pointed Zacchaeus to Jesus. As soon as Jesus got to that place, he said, look up and say, Zacchaeus, come down quickly and we go to your house with you today. Submit yourself total in humility, like this man called Zacchaeus. Jesus will serve with you tonight. As he was going, people started making jests of Jesus Christ. Hey, they not know the Jesus, not know this man. One of the worst sinners in our community. The chief is going with the chief to his house. When Zacchaeus knew what they were saying, he had everything. Then he said, Lord, my Lord, I've defrauded people. I've defrauded people. All the people are defrauded by mistake before. I will refund four times back to those people. I will give half of my riches to the people. See the humility demonstrated by this man. I see the conversion. When Jesus saw him, and he now said, Zacchaeus, salvation has come to you today. Come to your house today. This is what we brought to Allah. Salvation is what we brought to Allah. What is salvation? Salvation is a miraculous change in the life of a person. A person has been living a rough life before. 
all of a sudden you see him gentle. What is happening? You will know that something is happening. It's like you are saying with somebody in the same compound. That person is a talkative from Monday to Sunday through Sunday. Nobody rests in that compound because of him. But all of a sudden, one week, two week, three week, no noise. People in Sonsa or him, no response. We ignore them. You will know that something has taken place. That is what we call salvation. It's a miraculous change in the life of a person. No matter how bad you were before, no matter how rough you were before, but if you move a step forward in faith and say, Jesus, today I've come to you, that salvation will be yours in the name of Jesus. It is a free gift we receive without paying a price. Nobody pay a price for it. The vision, when you read the book of Ephesians 2, is not by how righteous we are, the good good is where we do. That is why we receive this free salvation. No. The salvation is by grace. It is grace that we receive this salvation. It is not received by the amount of work we have done or the good thing that we have done. Neither is it by our righteousness, but beauty, three letter word. The only part that we make you to receive that free salvation is repentance. Repentance make way for the grace of God to abound in your life. Repentance. Make way to abound in your life and you receive the grace of God. Like what Zacchaeus did. He repented from his own heart. When about human standard, you still run that man down. But when you see the humility demonstrated, you see that the man repented totally. For a big man to go and climb. See somebody now, in our time, somebody see Vune having just few thousand, not million. We see that person say they, they were doing program here, there's no space. He's climbing the top of tree. People we we look at that man, is he not mental? Is that person not sick? That's human being for you. But Jesus knew that a man was looking for salvation. And he said, salvation has come to you today. Many people misconstrue this grace of God. Before I go to the real topic, repentance. This salvation, many of us will misconstrue with a look at from a very bad perspective, from wrong side. That, why, that was why a question was asked in the Bible. It says, should we continue to say that the grace of God may abound? And the answer was a capital no. Say, God forbid. Is it because God's grace is there for us? Even those of us who are already Christians, if you are not careful, you can as well miss that wonderful salvation. Therefore, that grace that God has given to us, we have to guard against jealously. We guard against it jealously. It is that grace that brought many of us here. Because if there is a camera, a special camera to look at people now, and then view the top of life, each and every one of us were living before, you will see that we are not even worthy. But that grace, that grace cover everything for us. Please shout hallelujah to the glory of God. So this is why we brought this topic, repentance. Because it's only repentance that we make way for that salvation to come to you before our final. Now what is repentance? What is repentance? Repentance is a revolution touching one's attitude. When you say revolution, something that happened explode. Revolution touches one's attitude. It's, a, it's behavior. It's emotion. Everything is view concerning sin. That is repentance. Repentance we make you to look at what you are doing now. That this thing I'm doing is wrong in the sight of God. 
that is repentance. What is bad by God's standard, which is sin, you hate sin, that is repentance. It means changing, you are changing, or you are turning from doing what is bad, and you start to do what is good. I was a talkative before. Everybody know me my quarter that I'm a talkative, but now I'm no more a talkative. Something has taken place. That is repentance. When you are saying nobody dare come near you, as we have it in our side, say they not take my this in my matter, they not put out for corner and fire. No, but you have changed. You are not like that again. Then repentance has taken place. It means changing. Repentance signifies complete turnabout in the life of an individual. That's why you see some Christian boldly they will come. Say before now, so a few years before, I was like this. I was an armed robber. I was a prostitute. I was a, rit a ritualist. But today, I'm no more. Repentance, something has taken place. Change, turn around, a complete turn around. That is repentance. Repentance is what our Lord Jesus Christ demanded for our salvation. Without that repentance, the salvation which we receive by grace will not come. You must first of all move a step forward in faith to say, I'm tired of this thing. I no longer I don't want to do this thing again. Then the grace of God will come and the salvation will become your own. Sermon, Jesus Christ our Lord. The first sermon he preached in Matthew 4 17, he said, Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent. 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 That was the first message Jesus Christ preached everywhere. And in the same message we have brought to you people of Ireland today. That it's time for us to change from any everything we've been doing with by human standard that they are bad. If they are even bad by human standard, they're what of God. You have to change from them. That is repentance. It's a standard God wanted. In chapter 15 by 7 of the same view, Jesus said, There will be joy in heaven over one sinner that repented. Than 99 who need no repentance. So as we are here now in Allah, if it is only 5, 10, 15 that declare their stand tonight, that from today and for Christ and Christ alone, like that man who cried, beating his chest, that Father, forgive me. Forgive me. This salvation is sure for you. And you will receive that salvation of God. When you read that place, when the Bible in conclusion, he said, I came not because of the righteous, but the sinner. In other words, Jesus Christ left his throne, throne of God. I came there because of sinner, not because of righteous, the righteous one. So you, the people have already labored in our honor as a sinner. We have come to tell you that God has not written you off. You have an opportunity. It is only when you leave, you, you, you miss that opportunity that you will continue to wallow in the position you are. But if you have been doing something out of ignorance before, not knowing that that thing is bad in the sight of God, now that the word of God has come, you will not say, God, forgive me. And the salvation will be yours. Praise the Lord. Paul, a former murderer. Paul, he was a murderer. As I was called Saul, was killing the children of Israel from place, the children of God, from place to place. A murderer for that matter. But when he encountered Jesus Christ, after his encounter with Jesus Christ, and he had received the salvation of God. Paul now wrote in Acts 1730 that after my repentance, after the repentance, he continued to preach the repentance to his family.
fellow Jew, his fellow man. It was there, received the Spirit of God, the day of Pentecost. What he preached was repentance. Because only repentance can, can make room for the salvation of God to come to you. So my people will follow. Today is your opportunity, opportunity given to you to repent. Do not waste this opportunity because nobody knows tomorrow. You don't know what is going to happen next tomorrow. Tomorrow, even as we are here at the next one hour, you don't even know what is going to happen. So don't postpone it. Or you both say procrastination is the thief of time. Don't postpone it. This is an opportunity for you now to say, Lord Jesus, I am sorry. And God will say, my grace is sufficient for all. And the salvation will be yours. Amen. Amen. Now, we've talked about repentance. What is repentance? We have defined it. Now, when you change from what is bad to good, you have repented. By the standard of God, what gets God said he hates? You have been doing it before. And then you not change from it and doing what God likes. That is repentance. Now that we have known this, the next question we want to ask ourselves is, what category of people that need this repentance? Who are the people that need this repentance? What categories of people? Is it for the poor alone? Is it the rich alone? Children, all young girls and young boys? That is the question we want to answer now. Categories of people who need repentance. You may be a very big man in Angola. Big in it. In terms of the material things you have, your bank account loaded. Numbers of children, those that are in overseas, those that are in university, because this is what worldly people glorify. When they say John is having seven children overseas, he's having five of here in Adam. People will anywhere you go say, see this man, a very big man, as you did. Because of that one, they will reverence the person. What categories of people? that need this repentance. Not to waste time. All humans, all humans, everybody that is living on this earth, created by God, are commanded to repent from sin. Everybody, man or woman, boy or girl, whatever position you are holding in the secular world, in the church, God needs repentance. Repentance from sin from us. Sin is anything that goes against the will of God. Anything that goes away against the will of God by witchcraft, for ritual, some assassination, they are looking for money, they send them to go and give people. So for political reasons, it's so rampant now everywhere in Nigeria now. Killing for political reason. So for revenge, I've been betrayed. You betray me, I must kill you. Many people fall into this one. So by men, jealousy. Jealousy, they kill. Any category you belong, any form of killing at all, you are doing it ignorantly. You don't know before. Also, people force you into it. Because our young boys in the university now, there are so many of them, they force you into all these things. Court is it. And as a result, they can kill without even feeling remorse. Some of us have passed through that system. We've passed through that system, and we knew what happened in our university, colleges of education, and polytechnics. Any form of killing at all, if you belong to any of them. Today, the message has come to you <coughs> that you have to repent. You must have been doing it ignorant. I'm sending this word ignorant, ignorant of all. So they push them into it. But tonight, if you are here, as you hear the voice, my voice now, you have to come out from it. And Jesus Christ will give you free salvation. That is.
is what we have brought to you, people of Arab. Then the last thing, I measure those two categories, people who need to be re to repair tonight. The third one is immoral behavior. Immoral behavior that challenge the authority of God. That God hates. This immoral behavior, our society today, is being destroyed, is commented and they bring down, bring and down, break and down by immoral behavior of men and women. Such as stealing. Many do not want to work. They will I what some people have labored for for many years to go and get free, free money, free property. That is stealing is against God. So um, fornication and adultery today is so rampant. Many women now, at the time they married, they say for better for worse. But when things are not moving fine, you see women leaving their husband to go and meet some other men for money. Oh, God hate it. God hate it. It may be your friend and lure you into it. So God hate it. So these are the things we have brought to you. So homosexualism has taken place now. Men want to marry men against the order of God. God who created you and me, he created man and woman, created woman for the man. But we men, we many men are saying today, I don't want to marry a woman. The person I want to marry is a man. Homosexualism. This is against God. Yeah, you belong to this group, you have to repent. Come out of it. Lesbianism. Lesbianism. Women. I know. Somebody is regretting. Weeping seriously. He said, Father, I've gone astray from your ways. All the rest people we are counting all the category. I've gone astray. My father, forgive me. Call me back again. Give me a second chance to right all my wrongs that I've done before. The clamors in the time of decision taking. If you take a good decision tonight, people of Allah, you will live to continue to rejoice. But if you take a wrong decision, you will regret it for life. Like Zacchaeus, who said, Tonight, this day I must go and meet my Jesus Christ. Even though with his size, people were preventing him from going, he ran and climbed the sycamore tree. That is the opportunity now. We have come to that. The opportunity for you now to take a decision tonight. I've got them so many categories of what we are doing wrong. Some of us were doing them before. Members here gathered. We were them. The same message they preached to us. And we repented. And Jesus Christ has given us this ministry of reconciliation, of preaching to people who are still in the world who have not known him. So we have come, the time for decision, as I said, like Zacchaeus, Jesus said, come to me, you that are heavy lady, and I will give you rest. Are you carrying any load of sin? Something that is bothering you, that is making you to shed tears every night. If you know you are carrying such body, oh, shit. <laughs> it makes you to cry every day. As a woman, you are not even revealing to your husband. As a man, you are not even revealing to your wife. This is here. You will come forward. Move in majestically to meet Jesus Christ. And your problem will be over tonight. Because Jesus, all the community, everywhere he passes through, Jesus always lives. But now that Jesus is in Adam, the miracle that Jesus Christ has brought to Adam, I want to be one of those who will receive that miracle now. You just, the time of taking decision, that that thing that I've been doing wrong before, I'm tired of it. I want to come out of it. That is what we have come to now. No matter the load of oppression you are carrying, no matter the load of failure, in your life, as a student, as a man, as a woman, the 
no matter the, that failure. Jesus is calling you that you should come. This is the opportunity now. Jesus said, come unto me. If you come now, I will give you rest. And salvation will be for you tonight. Just as like you have received that salvation. So as my brother, the music director, will be giving us this chorus. Don't waste time. Don't look at another person's face. The person standing by you. This is the time you take your own decision. Not if John is going and we go. No, personal decision. To meet your Jesus Christ. And we'll be happy you did. So as the chorus will be going on, we want you to come forward. Those who will say, I'm tired of that thing that I've been doing. My brother. Someone in every language. <laughs> Amen. Amen. The song says, I have said it. So, only Jesus, the King, I will follow.
Jesus was saying. He said, nobody we go and seek a physician or a doctor. When you are well, you are sound. No problem in your life at all. Have you had such a person? Don't get up from bed. He said, I won't go meet doctor. You are not sick. You are not him. He said, but those who are sick are the people who look for Thank you. 
What did they have? They have my session. What did they have? What is happening to me? That's what I did in your own time. The place is not going to pay me again. The place. I got stand up. The place. I got to be like that. So we went to the early morning evangelism from place to place. So when they were preaching to that day, joy, I was happy, I was happy all over. So I told the people to go to Google Room. I was happy. Without from Google Room, I was drinking a Google Room. And so they give me food, they have food, they can eat. Because of 
bullying me. My daughter, 28 years, sick to the point of death. Many of now come to Gile, when I go see the person where they lie down for front. Now my daughter, when the daughter finish, I go cry to God. I say, God, you say those who put their trust in you, you will not put that to jail. I say, no, this God, I know my redeemer live. I carry her for Billy to Gile. When I reach Gile, now I get big God. How could they get my leader? That period they say leader travel. Hey, my president travel. How could they get her? I go uh, outside Katija. I see my Gile zona chairman. I run go meet her daddy. Pray for my picking. You know no waiting here and they cry for he pray. But that day for the crusade. That day for the crusade. That day for the crusade. That day for the crusade.
for people. I pray that they say they prayed. That whatever their problem, whatever I want God to do, let it uh, let her or anybody at all. Just promise God, God will do it for you. So was it about three weeks or four weeks back? Then my phone rang, I did not even know. She was introducing herself. I said, I don't even know you. You don't know. He said, no, I'm not saying no, I mean no good no, because people were many. He said it was like a crusade. And he made a vow that if God fulfilled what uh, he asked from God, that he would he, he vow was that he would go to pay some money. Uh, is that? So he want our account number so that he can pay the money. I said, I don't know, you have to come pay just send your account number like that. He said, but that now waiting. The president talk that day. I said, okay. I go send the account number. Uh, our president has confirmed it. The sister now, he paid the money he said the vow was 50000 A young lady. Before somebody, he made a vow within a short period and he fulfilled that vow. You know what God has done for her. Not so. And he paid the money to the account. So, miracles can Today, as we are rounding up, as we are rounding up now, you are the man, woman, boy or girl, old or young. You want the touch of God tonight. You want the miracle of God tonight. You want that salvation. That problem in your life, you want God to solve it to you. For you, as the last chorus will be going on by the music our music director they will give us a special number. Don't let this one pass you by. Because after the chorus, we give an announcement and then we close. You are lucky indeed that our bishop is here seated. He's waiting for you. We say the last prayer. And whatever you demanded from God, it will be permanent in your life. So those of you who see at the back, see, uh, asking question whether you come or not to come, this is your opportunity. Don't let it pass you back. Over to you, please.
until, Father, we ascribe all honor, glory, adoration, praises unto your holy name. Baba, we worship you. We adore you. We give you honor. We magnify your name because you are going to magnify it the more. So many that I cannot count. It is not the president that did it. But you, Christ, you are the one that did it. And so all the honor, praises and glory, you are the only one that is worthy to take them. Magnify yourself yeah. in Allah again. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And so, Father, I stand in the name of Jesus Christ yeah. to declare that whatever your children have asked individually tonight say ground is granted in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall not leave this crusade without it being accomplished. In the mighty name of Jesus.
by this time. Um, with what you are saying now, I think very soon, with testimony, we will be coming to our lawyer again. We call with double population. And so come and pray for your people, sir. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because I believe that God was with us here tonight. And because he was here, tomorrow he will also be here. I believe that by the declaration of the servant of God, you have been blessed. Whatever God has done for you tonight shall remain permanent. Yeah. Those who have given their life to Jesus, who has given you the power to remain a child of God. Yeah. Those who have received the healing, your testimony shall abound. Yeah. Can I declare to you? Yes, sir. By the way, nobody has mentioned my name in full here. Yeah, my name is Blessing. Yeah. Hallelujah. And this name I bear.